some 150 activists with the youth-led climate organization, the Sunrise Movement, held a sit-in outside the Democratic National Committee's headquarters on Tuesday to demand they reverse their decision not to hold a debate focused on climate change. We asked to, to go up and have, and have a meeting with, the, with members of the DNC, and they refused. They locked the doors on us, and, uh, you know, I bet when the, you can, you can bet when the, the oil and gas lobbyists come here, uh, they don't get the doors locked on them. They have vowed to stay until the DNC meets their demands. How many people plan to stay here all night? Yes. So I think the least members of Congress can do is show up and support your generation, your passion for a climate debate. It was the day before the first Democratic presidential debate of 2019 in Miami, Florida. Just miles away, an Everglades brush fire is threatening thousands of acres of land. Miami is one of the like most threatened large cities in the United States for sea level rise. Um, they, out of anyone, that city is in an emergency. So this is a matter of like life and death. DNC Chair Tom Perez rejected the demand earlier this month in response to a letter from Democratic candidate and Washington Governor Jay Inslee. This issue has been really left out of the political conversation for our entire lives. In 2016, only 1.5 percent of all of the questions in the Democratic primary debates referenced climate change. In the general election, there wasn't a single question about climate change. This ha issue has not been discussed, and the American people and voters have not gotten a chance to hear where the candidates stand and what kinds of policies will protect our generation and generations to come. Perez said the DNC doesn't do single-issue debates, but Sunrise doesn't believe that the climate crisis is a single issue. This issue um, has a foot in racial justice and in, in economic justice. Um, it is it, it's a broad issue. Fifteen candidates have called for a climate debate, as have more than 50 DNC members across the country. And a new poll commissioned by Data for Progress showed that 64 percent of Democratic voters also support the demand. It makes no sense that the DNC is not following the wishes of the, the party, of the presidential candidates, and of young people who it needs to energize if, it, if we're, we're going to defeat Trump. But activists say not just any climate debate will do. It must be one that fully grapples with the climate crisis. The climate debate needs to start with the assumption in the room that climate change is real. Um, that's not what we're debating. Um, we're not debating the uh, extent of damage that climate change has the potential to cause. What we're debating is essentially about like solutions. Sunrise is also pushing each candidate to refuse fossil fuel contributions and to prioritize the Green New Deal, a plan to phase out fossil fuels within a decade and create millions of jobs in the process. We are tired and we want action now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> because this literally affects every aspect of our lives and we need to know which candidates we trust to fight for our future and which candidates need to move aside. Yes. Yes.